What's up everybody, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Gator SR1 Pro on this 2022 Toyota Tundra. Now the only tool we'll be using is a half inch wrench or ratchet. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're behind the cab right up here, the bulkhead. We're on the passenger side. Here's our passenger side bed cap. The first thing I want to point out is we got a big gap right here between the bulkhead and the bed cap. We need to fill that in with this seal and it's going to go in, in this orientation right here. Basically, this is going to fold under and this portion of the tape is going to go right down to the bottom. Now, let me show you how to do that. First off, what we want to do is cleaning this out with some isopropyl alcohol. So what I'm doing is I'm getting some isopropyl alcohol right down here. I'm going to fold this in half, slide it down, and then wipe it back and forth across that surface to get that nice and cleaned off. Next, I'm going to take our seal, peel off the tape protector. All right, now as we're holding it, what I like to do is kind of pull up the back corner. That way it doesn't stick to our cap. Push up on our bed cap. Then we're going to slide it up underneath the bed cap and get it all the way forward. Once it's in place here, we can go ahead and push down on our bed cap so that it seats. Repeat that on the opposite side and then we can go ahead and install our bulkhead seal. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install our bulkhead seal right on top of the bulkhead. Um, I've already wiped down this surface with some rubbing alcohol. Uh, where we're going to install it is on the inside edge of the bulkhead. So far away from the cab as possible, right up to the inside edge. We're going to go from the driver's side all the way to the passenger side and cut it into place. And we will also be pulling away the, the white protective strip on top as we go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and set our cover up on top of the bed caps. We're going to go ahead and assemble the cover right now. What we're looking at here is we've got an extrusion. This is our header rail. Uh, the gasket needs to be facing down towards our bulkhead. That's going to sit over top of our bulkhead gasket. And this opening right here, uh, we are going to insert the end of our driver's side rail into that. Now, if you look at the into the rail. We've got this uh, rectangular extrusion that's going to slide in uh, to the, the header rail. D is for the driver's side um, uh, rail. And before we can insert this into our header rail, if you flip that over, we've also got a gasket that needs to be installed right here. Okay, now you're going to have some extra gaskets that are in your kit. Peel off the one that fits the shape of this end here and stick it on. We're going to do the exact same on the opposite side and it'll be a mirror image. So you're going to use the opposite piece that has a little semicircle cut out. Okay, now make sure that the gasket is facing down. Go ahead and slide that piece in. Repeat the same for the passenger side. Okay, here we are on the passenger side. Everything I show you on the passenger side, we're going to do on the driver's side as well. This is the way the clamps come out of the box. What we're going to do is we're going to turn our screw, our bolt, uh, to where it goes all the way up to where it's just to the bottom of this portion of the clamp. We're going to pull those apart, and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. It doesn't matter if you rotate it towards the front or to the rear. We just need, need to rotate it 90 degrees to get it out of the way. Next, what we're going to do is pull out this plug, and this portion of the clamp is going to slide into here. We're going to slide three clamps in here and evenly space them front to back. All right, once we have the clamp set in place, what we're going to do is rotate the clamp uh, top portion back in place and set it up to where it lines up inside the grooves of the rail. All right, now that we've got all the clamps loosely installed, I made sure that the front is centered side to side and then it's on top of the bulkhead. So what we're gonna do is roll the tarp back to the tailgate. When we get to the tailgate, I wanna just make sure that the tail rail is gonna be on top of the tailgate whenever it closes. Um, and it is, so what I'm gonna do now is make sure that I've got an eighth inch between the edge of the, the, the tail rail and the inside edge of the cover on each side and make sure it's centered side to side. All right, once we have done that, we're gonna go ahead and roll it forward. 
And then we're going to set the rear clamps using a half inch uh, ratch, ratchet or wrench. It's going to lock it in place. We're going to roll it towards the bulkhead. And then tighten up the other clamps. All right, now let's pull it back towards the tailgate and attach our rear seals. All right, now we're going to go ahead and wipe down this corner piece with some rubbing alcohol. We'll go ahead and peel off our corner gasket and put that in place like so and repeat the same for the opposite side. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, Check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online at realtruck.com.